guys, so this weekend was a flop when it came to writing. It was a complete and utter flop. I wrote about a thousand words in total, 600 on Saturday, 451 yesterday, and now I'm majorly behind. I've got to write 2,600 words today to get back on track, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage it. I'm going to try, but I'm scared. I've never written that much in one day. Well, I have, but I was younger and more optimistic, and I cared less. So, this is going to be fun. I've also got to try and write two blog posts, one for me, one for Bookshelf Magazine. Oh, this is going to be fun. should probably get on with it. kind of just want to start reading, because I'm thinking I may read Percy Jackson today. Because once I've gotten Percy Jackson out of the way, that's one series finished. And that's two books more off my TBR. I don't know. I'm going to have to write today, but I think I may put it off for a while longer and just read Percy Jackson for a bit. It's a bad plan, but that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't write before about one. I've trained myself to not write before one o'clock. I don't know why. I just have. So, today's going to be fun and stressful. Help. I've just reached chapter 5 of Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth, which is page 78, and I'm enjoying it reasonably well, but I seem to be having the same problem I do with all the Percy Jackson books, which is I just think I'm too old to be reading them and fully enjoying them. I just... I think I would have enjoyed these a lot more when I was about 14 because that's more like the reading age I think these are based for. So I think I would have been a lot happier reading them then. It's still a really good story and I like how it's written and how all the Greek myths are really woven in. And I quite enjoy the characters. There's just some level of disconnect for me, I think, with these books. Simply because I just think I'm just that slight bit too old to be reading them right now. Okay so I'm now officially a third of the way through Percy Jackson and I'm thinking it's now time to try and start writing because if I don't start writing now I fear I may run out of time to actually get 2,600 words down so right now I'm gonna give it a shot then I'm gonna stop for lunch watch Sherlock because it is the 5th of November and obviously The Empty Hearse is set on the 5th of November. So I'm going to watch The Empty Hearse and then write some more, hopefully. Let's see how this goes. Round one of writing. Let's do this. Lord help me. So I just managed 977 words. So I'm now like just at where I should have been yesterday. So I'm going to eat some lunch because I'm really, really hungry. Watch Sherlock and then... I'm going to try and finish, well not finish the entire thing, but I'm going to try and write today's word count and see what happens. But I'm really happy with what I've just uh, written. It feels like things are starting to sort of come together and form more in my mind because I haven't planned any of this. I have a couple of scenes that I want to write and I know my setting and I know where I want this to kind of go. I know my concept basically, but... I really, this is me doing my first draft, telling myself the story entirely. I'm just piling in all the sand and then later on in redrafting I will create sand castles to sort of semi quote someone I've forgotten. But this feels like it's coming together now and I'm really really enjoying it now. So yes, here we go. Okay, so I managed to have lunch, and I've also watched Sherlock, and I managed to write another 1,088 words. So I am now on 7,778, and I need to get to 8,333. So I've got about 600 words to write, and then I'm fully caught up, and I'm so tempted to leave it and then just finish that tomorrow. But at the same time, I'm kind of feeling like I'm... I'm not even going to say it in case I jinx it because I'm going to carry on writing so I can get past that. And if I can get past that and possibly, you know, over that limit, so then I'm ahead of myself again, I'll be really, really happy. Because I want to get ahead of myself again so then I have more fallback time for the weekend. So if I have another weekend like I had this weekend, I'm not going to be this far behind. I'm not going to be spending ages playing catch up. So 
I'm going to carry on writing. I've just got to sort out the washing machine in a minute once it's finished spinning. And then I can get on and hopefully finish this next 600 words. Maybe get slightly over that. I don't know. But I'm feeling good today. Feeling good. So let's go. And then after that, I don't know if I'm going to continue reading Percy Jackson because I don't really have that much time until mum comes home when I just stop reading so I don't know what I'm gonna do I may just watch some videos I'm not sure I'll figure it out when I finish writing so at the moment I've only got 600 more words and then I'm fully caught up with myself so far I've managed to write 2065 words in total and I'm nearly caught up with myself I'm feeling triumphant I did it I've managed to reach 2,837 words today, which is in total 8,550 for the entire project in November in five days. I am so happy. You have no idea. I didn't think I was going to be able to catch up today. I thought that was going to be really difficult, but I'm now back on track again. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And I am now giving up for the day because I've now written like a thousand words more than I should and I'm all caught up so now I'm just gonna be reading and catching up on YouTube because I am done for the day and I am so happy it's now Tuesday and like an idiot I forgot to upload my video last night so I'm now frantically trying to upload it now and it's like half an hour long so I have no idea how long this is gonna take because it seems that it's gonna take so long to upload YouTube isn't even giving me like a time for how long it's gonna take so I'm just gonna sort of leave it and hope for the best basically and just pray it gets uploaded today because otherwise I'm gonna be seriously 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 late but for now I'm gonna continue on with Percy Jackson because I got a third of the way through yesterday and if I can get another third of the way through if not more I'll be really pleased so I'm gonna get on with this until I feel like writing basically because at the moment don't feel like writing like I said I can only write in the afternoons and it's currently morning so I'm gonna carry on with this and see what happens so I've now reached page 197 in this book and I've now had lunch so I'm gonna try and start writing something and because I reached nearly 3,000 words yesterday I kind of want to try that again maybe not completely up to 3,000 because I think I'll like run out of energy a lot quicker if I try and do that but I definitely want to get to about 2,000, 2,500 a day because I'd really like to finish before my mum's operation on the 19th because that week I'm going to get nothing done I am just going to sort of sit in front of the TV and just watch a ton of stuff I need to watch because I haven't watched it yet and I'm just not going to get any writing done and if I do it's only going to be in the evening when I'm absolutely knackered so, I want to get as much done as physically possible it, up until the 19th. So then I've got less pressure on myself after that to try and finish everything. Do you see what I mean? So I'm going to try and sort of go for 2,000, 2,500 a day for a while. See what happens. Get as far as I possibly can. And just see what happens. And then after that, I think I'm going to carry on reading this. Because... I'm still not getting the emotional connection to the characters, but I can see why it's so loved. But for me, I'm just sort of not clicking. Don't know why, I'm just really not quite clicking with this series. I have no idea why. Really, I have no idea. But at the moment, I'm just going to get some writing done and then try and get back to this. Not sure how much I'm going to get done today, though, because I'm really tired. No idea why. I'm absolutely knackered, so... Just going to see what happens, basically, at this point. So I just managed to write 1,698 words. It's not the 2,000 I immediately wanted, so I am basically a liar. But I am giving up for the day because I just reached 10,000 words. And I think that's quite a good milestone. I know it's the one I'm supposed to hit today on the 6th, but I just sort of ran out of steam I guess I ran out of steam I'm really hungry because my lunch was basically sod all and tasted awful so I'm really really hungry so I'm gonna finish or at least carry on reading Percy Jackson 
while eating one last giant cookie and calling that lunch because I don't know what healthy eating is. So I'm going to eat that and carry on reading this for the rest of the day because I ran out of steam. I'll try again tomorrow. I say that all the time. It's a dangerous thing to get into, but I hit word count today. So I'm happy. And I'm also about 200 words over, actually. So I'm still over. I'm just not as over as I want it to be. But I'm going to continue on tomorrow instead. I think maybe I ran out of steam yesterday and it's carried over into today or something. I don't know. But I hit a world goal today, I hit a big milestone, I'm happy, I've got to wait for another email back from someone, so I'm just going to eat the cookie and read this now, I think, for the rest of the day. So, it's now Wednesday and I have a ton of things to do today. I've got to reach world count, finish Percy Jackson, hoover up, do the washing, and I've also got to film a new video today. I'm not going to edit it because I never film and edit on the same day because... I feel like I see more mistakes if I leave it for a day or two and then edit, so I've just got to film it today. I did kind of want to do the Grinch book tag today because I'm seeing the Grinch on Friday, which will be the video's upload day, but I think it's just a tad bit too early and I refuse to be a part of the bringing Christmas into November like front. I, I'm the Grinch. The Grinch trailer speaks to me on a physical level i am seriously anti-christmas i'm here for the food the presents and the christmas specials apart from that nah not here for it so i'm very much grinchy and i'm already in the grinchy mood but i think it's just a tad bit too early to do the grinch book tag so i'll probably leave that until like december now even though i really want to do it so instead i'm going to do the story ideas writing tag because I don't have that much time this week. I didn't have anything particularly planned and it is NaNoWriMo so I might as well talk about my work in progress at the moment because I haven't spoken about it further than what I've got in the word count. So I'm gonna do that one instead but right now I should probably hoover before I forget. So I have no idea if you can see this but I actually have a bump on my head because Last night, wandering around in the dark like an idiot, and I tripped over a box and smacked my head on the um, door frame of my bedroom, and it really, really hurt, so I've now actually got a bump on my forehead. I'm just glad I haven't bruised, because I was literally holding my head in pain at like one o'clock in the morning after hitting it. Ow. That actually really hurt, so I actually got a proper bump there. Anyway, um... So I was sitting there going, oh god, if this bruises, I can't film this week. And I was like, oh god. So luckily it hasn't bruised. But there's one hell of a lump there, which is, you know, great. Just glad I don't have a concussion. <laughs> really glad I don't have a concussion. But at the same time, ow. So I just finished Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth. And I'm still not entirely sure on it. If I'm completely honest, like, there's really interesting plot points and stuff, but there's just some level of disconnect for me. I don't know how to put it. I'm just sort of not fully invested, and I have absolutely no idea why, because this has got so much that I really, really enjoy in it and stuff. I just can't seem to bring myself to fully care for the characters, and I have no idea why. But I will say that I actually quite enjoyed this one. I'd say it's a solid three stars because I couldn't fully get invested in it. But I think it's a really good story and it's a really, really good series. And I really love that um, Rick Ryden put in um, disability in there as well. In the sense that Percy has ADHD and dyslexia. I really, really quite like that. I think for me, this is written for a bit too younger audience than what I'm used to. So I'm just really not connecting to it. So I think that's my problem with this series, if I'm completely honest. I think it's just aimed at a bit too younger audience for me. If I was that target audience of about 12, I would really, really love this. But I think it's just a bit too young for me i guess but it's got some really great ideas in here and i really like where this is going it's just not quite for me i think so i just finished filming the story idea writing tag and it was actually a surprisingly quick one i wanted it to be quite quick anyway so i saved time editing fingers crossed because my last reading vlog that i uploaded on the monday that i'm filming of this well the tuesday actually because i was late took me four hours 
in total, which is not on, quite frankly, and I've got a lot of writing to do, so I didn't particularly want to do a really, really long video this week, so hopefully that's alright, and hopefully it can all get edited down tomorrow, and also I've just seen the announcement for Tome Topple, and it's right smack bang in the worst week possible because it starts on the 16th and my mum's operations on the 19th which means she's going to be home all week and we're literally like i've said before just going to be sat watching stuff like american gods and for like an entire week and i can probably keep up with writing at the time but i doubt i'm going to be able to get on with reading and I really want to take part in Tome Topple because I've got two books that are over 500 pages. Like, for this month's reading, I've got City of Ashes as well as Mortal Coil, which is the third book in the Mortal Instruments series and the fifth book in the Skulldark Read Pleasant series. And I could probably read City of Ashes from the 15th through to the 19th, but then I'd have, like, a week where I can't read anything, and then I'd have to rush through like skullduggery in the final week but i'm really tempted because i managed to read a longer book which was american gods in like three days and it was like 100 pages 150 pages longer so i can do it but i'm slightly scared on top of nanowrimo and everything else and the fact that i've only got one week to do it i'm really tempted to do Time topple? Like, I really shouldn't be tempted to, to do time topple because I'm knackered and I really shouldn't be pressuring myself here to just sort of read massive books and also try and hit the 50,000 word goal. But at the same time, I really want to do it. Like, I really badly want to do it. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how close I am to the 50,000 word goal when it gets to like the 16th when tome topple starts and see what happens i just reached 12,000 words in total so i'm about 500 words ahead of where i'm supposed to be so i'm really really happy and i think i'm gonna leave it for the day i've only written like 1,800 words but at the same time that is still more than the actual work i'm supposed to be and i just got to like a quite emotional bit so i'm sort of leaving it here for the day because I'm quite emotionally now wrung out, so instead I'm going to have a bit of a dance party and then read. I'm not going to show you the dance party this time because I can't be bothered to edit it, quite frankly. And it's embarrassing watching me try to dance, so I'm just going to dance by myself instead. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's now actually Thursday and I have finished my book yesterday, so I've got to edit a video I filmed yesterday, which is the writing ideas tag. And I've also got to write, and that's the only two things I need to do today. I was going to start a new book, but considering I'm out tomorrow watching The Grinch and possibly having a meeting, I don't know yet, well, I'm just not going to start a new book because otherwise I'm not going to finish it on Friday, so there's no point. So I'm just going to write and I'm going to edit. And hopefully this video is going to take a shorter amount of time than it took to do my last reading vlog, because my last reading vlog in total took four and a half hours to edit, load and save. Well, load, edit, save, actually. Because I can't, can't edit unless it loads. And it just didn't load on me for hours and hours and hours. And then it took me ages to edit it because it wasn't fully loaded. And then I had to try and save it. And that took two hours by itself. So, yeah, fun times. But right now, this is only an 11-minute video instead of a half an hour one. So hopefully I can edit this reasonably fast hopefully i'm jinxing it saying that but never mind so hopefully i can get this done and then get writing because i've just seen a whole lot of people's reading like no i keep on saying reading vlogs i mean writing vlogs i'm watching other people's nanowrimo vlogs and they are killing it writing thousands and thousands and thousands of words a day and i'm sitting there going i can't even be bothered to get to two thousand so it's sort of given me a kick up the arse in a sort of, like, competitive way. So, hopefully, this is the thing I need to actually get me writing more. Because, at the moment, 
I want to finish, or at least get very close to finishing by the 19th. And I'm not going to do that if I keep on just writing the normal amount. So, really need to get going on that. Fingers crossed this is what's going to happen now. Fingers crossed. I jinxed it. I completely and utterly jinxed it. Laptop hasn't loaded a second. I left it for like half an hour and it hasn't even loaded a second. Totally jinxed that, didn't I? Totally jinxed that, so now I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I can't write this early. I may try. I may try and get writing done, actually, now. Because this is going to take a while to load. And I could possibly get a head start and get some decent writing done. Or maybe not decent writing done, but I can get some words done. Which would be nice if I can get some words down, maybe? I don't know. I may just try and get some writing done while I wait. Tango from Chicago is a really, really good song to write a book about Lucifer to. It sort of has that sort of murdery energy that I kind of want. Really useful. I feel like I'm going to be listening to that a lot this month. 3,000 words in total. 3,000 words in one day. I am ecstatic i'm so happy with three thousand words like oh this is the most i've done this year so far and i am so so happy with it and i'm so excited to see where my story's going because i've now got the beginning opening bit done and i'm now getting to, into the bit where i know the setting and everything and i've now just got to figure out my characters because i still don't have my characters yet like i know what they all look like and i kind of know what everyone's role is but I don't have names and I don't have personality yet because I am not the best planner so I've got vain ideas in my head but I'm ridiculously excited because I'm now really getting into it now and I'm just so happy I'm so excited and I'm just 3,000 words 3,000 words yes so it's now Friday, I'm quite tired because I went to bed quite late and I don't have that much time to do any writing today because I've got to leave at about 20 to 2 today so I can get into town, go to Stormfront and have a look at their MacBooks and see how much they cost so I can compare it to Curry's and Argos before I buy because obviously I want to get the cheapest option with the longest warranty because... I need to because this one doesn't have a warranty on it and quite frankly it's got awful so probably need to get a warranty on it anyway I've got to go do that and I've got to avoid horse times quite frankly before I go and see the Grinch because the Grinch comes out today and I would have seen it this morning but I want to see it with as few kids in there as possible because the amount of times I've gone to see a kids film there's a whole lot of kids wandering about and talking out loud and all the rest of it and while I d don't really mind that kids are quite loud like that it is a film i really want to see so i want to see it in peace so i'm going to see it in the evening so i'm really really excited i've wanted to see the grinch for a really really long time ever since i saw the first trailer it's got my favorite actor playing the grinch benedict cumberbatch i absolutely adore him he is just favorite actor ever such a crush on him anyway he's voicing the grinch so i couldn't ignore it and also i am a complete grinch i am the worst and most grinchiest person you have ever seen i'm so bad i was fully in grinch mode by november the first just by getting two texts from my best friend about the fact that her shop that she works in has already got 25 percent of their songs that are playing in the store as christmas music i was immediately already in grinch mode so on like november the first and the trailers to the grinch speak to me on an emotional and physical level so i'm really really excited to see it i am so so excited to see it you have no idea i have been waiting for this for a really really long time i know how it ends so i know he doesn't stay the grinch forever but i'm going to enjoy feeling like 
a Grinch and like I am understood for at least half of a film. So go me. I'm really, really excited for it. And so I've got to try and get a whole lot of words done beforehand. It's now 25 to 11 and I've got until, when did I say? 22, 1. So I've got a couple of hours to try and get as many words as done as possible and to get my video uploaded because I can't upload it tonight because I'll be back late. So I'm going to upload it now and set it live when I get home. But as long as it's uploaded now, I don't really care because then that's just done and dusted. So I'm going to get on with that now and I will update you later on how I'm getting on. It's now 5 past 12 and I've written in total today 2,117 words which now puts me at 17,436 words and I should be on 16,333 so I am 1,100 words over which means I'm a day and a half ahead of myself or at least, no I'm not, am I? No I'm half a day ahead of myself, I I don't know anymore. I'm ahead of myself, so I am so happy. Apparently, at this rate, I will finish on November 26th, and yes, excitement is real. I am so happy with myself right now, and I think I'm actually going to stop for the day because I've got an overwork count, and I've only got like an hour left now before I've got to leave, and I quite frankly can't be bothered to write anymore because I'm lazy. So instead, I am going to sign off here, because I'm not going to be doing anything more interesting for the rest of the day apart from seeing the Grinch. And by the time this goes up, I will have written my Grinch um, review by that point. But it won't be coming out till Wednesday, but I'll leave a link down below to my blog so you can check it out on Wednesday. So I'm just going to end this video here now because I'm just going to be boring for the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below with your word count for the moment and... How you're doing in NaNoWriMo, I'd love to know. And I'll also leave a link down below to all of my social media if you want to check it out. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here. And over here will be the link to my previous video. But until next time, guys, bye.